Microsoft App Builder. So imagine this, you need a quick app. Maybe you have a small project to manage or you want to track your personal activities on a weekly basis. So you open your company app list and nothing really fits. So you think to yourself, surely there is some kind of AI tool available that can help you build such a quick app, right? So you look online, but you quickly remember that your company would probably not allow you to use those external tools. And even if they did, how would others safely access that app? So you try Excel again, and it almost works, but it's clunky, it's not really an app, and hours turns into frustration. And that's exactly where Microsoft 365 App Builder comes in, right inside your trusted environment, building real apps from a single prompt. So in this video, we will cover what is App Builder, what are the core features of the tool, I'll show you a real life example of an app and I'll also show you where App Builder fits into the Microsoft AI ecosystem. And I'll finish by explaining you some technical architecture, security and licensing requirements. So what is App Builder? So look, App Builder is effectively an agent that you can access through your Microsoft 365 Copilot that lets you create lightweight interactive apps that you can share with others. And you don't really need coding skills, right? So you can open your Copilot and you can describe the app or visualization that you want and the agent will build that instantly. So let's now cover some of the core features of App Builder. So as we were saying, you start building your app using prompt, right? So you will start first describing whatever you want to build in that prompt. After a few minutes, the agents will start building your app and you will see it progressing. Once that's done, you'll kind of get a first iteration of your app, right? So you can see here, I created an activity logger where I can track some of the activities per categories per week and I have some goals. So each week I wanna do a certain amount of hours in each of categories. And as you test that app, you wanna make some changes, right? So again, you can use your prompting skills so you can ask the agent to change your app and that's kind of the a few iterations later of my app where I've asked to change you know, the color, I'm asked to use some glass effects, I start, I ask also to change the manage categories and log activity to swap them. Uh, here I ask the delete and the edit button. So I kind of ask through prompting multiple different changes and you can also upload images, documents to kind of fine tune your app. And what you also get which each one of these app is a SharePoint site. So for each of the app, you get a SharePoint site where your data is stored. They stored in SharePoint lists. And what you also get, what I also notice is that if you open the Pop platform, there is a new environment called Microsoft 365 Copilot app and you have your apps of type code being created. So it's kind of a personal environment from what I can see. Those are not Power Apps, so App Builder and Power Apps are quite different. So App Builder is really for you to build your personal productivity apps. Um, and Power Apps is really used for building enterprise grade application where you can deploy them to dev, test UAT, share them with thousands of users and so forth. So Power Apps and App Builder are very different. What you also get is enterprise data protection. So because this app is built within your Microsoft tenant, your Microsoft kind of environment, you get enterprise protections. All the data stored here is protected within your tenant. So nothing is shared externally. So it has a responsive UI, so it will adapt to your de device effectively. If you open the app in a mobile device, it will be smaller. And oh, as we said, you can share that app with others so let me show you the example that I built that I use also in the slide before. So if you go to your Microsoft 365 Copilot, you will see App Builder and this is the app I created. You can create new apps using this prompting here. So if I open the app, you can see the app here with the categories per week that I created. I can log my activities, I can manage my categories. And the app I'm showing you has really gone through a series of iteration, right? So if I just show you how the app works, I will log an activity here. I can select a category. Maybe I did some cardio, it was today, and I did maybe 90 minutes, and it was the running. 
and now create my activity and as i create my activity you can see straight away that chart being updated right so this is the usage of the app but i can go back to my list of apps and i can request an update so if i edit this app I ask the copilot to edit my activity time logger and by editing the app and here you can ask additional changes to your app so you can keep on iterating through your app. The nice thing is that you can request change in using prompting to your app and only once you're happy with your changes you can click on the update and that will push the changes to effectively reflect on the final version of your app. And if you want to see real life examples of how to create those apps using app builders, some of my MVP colleagues have created really end to end videos of how they use app builder to create those apps. So I'm recommending watching these as well. So if you were to look at the Microsoft AI and Copilot ecosystem, so really if we have our AI users using Copilots and then the no code makers, really app builder fits within the microsoft 365 copilot it is within the copilot paid version and it sits really within that suite of agents that let you create apps with no code so it sits next to tools like copilot studio Lite and workflow which is another tool that lets you create workflows using prompts so in terms of security, really, these apps are created within your Microsoft tenants or your Microsoft ecosystem. They are your personal apps. You will be the only one that see and can play with those apps. The SharePoint lists are SharePoint lists only visible to yourselves. So in terms of security, these apps are very much isolated. And in terms of licensing, as we said before, they are part of your Microsoft 365 Copilot paid subscription so as long as you have that license you will be able to use app builder to quickly build personal apps voila i hope that you liked this video and if that's the case give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel as i'll be doing more videos about microsoft technology in the ai space